Texture Packs for Minecraft 1.19. That's what we're going to show you exactly how to get in this video. We're even going to show you what to do if uh, Texture Packs not quite updated to the version of Minecraft 1.19 in this case that you want. Should you install it? What happens if you do? What if you install it and it breaks things? We're going to kind of cover all of that in this video. Not kind of. We just are. But before we can do any of that, here's a message from our sponsor. They help keep the lights on here and help us make these amazing videos for you. That is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown. .xyz if you want to play Minecraft with your friends and start your very own server. We love just Apex so much. We host our server, playedourbreakdowncraft.com on them. And Apex is truly the easiest, simplest way to start a server with 24 hours, 7 day a week support, and amazing high quality hardware. You can even install mod packs with just one click at Apex, so go to the first link down below at the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own server with them. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get some resource packs installed and downloaded for 1.19. First thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our website where we have 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.19. I'll be honest, at the time of recording this, Minecraft 1.19 came out uh, 48 minutes ago, and so because of that, not all of these are updated, but I will be updating them later today. So if you do see some different texture packs on this list, that is why. However, right now, John Smith the legacy is updated. We can just, by the way, go ahead and right click and click on the download button under the resource pack that we want. Spack Community Craft isn't updated, but what happens when a pack isn't updated? Well, I'm going to show you what happens. So let's go ahead and download that one for that reason. And then last but not least, the Epic Adventures pack is updated as well. Right here it is, and we're going to open up that. The rest of these packs in this list may change, but if they do, that's perfectly fine. Just know they are all updated, and our goal is to have a bunch of different styles for you to choose from. Nevertheless, John Smith Legacy takes you to our dedicated tutorial for it, where you want to click that yellow download button, and it will take you to the official John Smith Legacy download page. The thing we want to look for is to make sure that we are downloading the 1.19 version. To do that, we want to come under Minecraft Java 1.19 here, and that's the important part. You want to make sure it's Minecraft Java, not Bedrock. The Bedrock version won't work. You need the Java version. Once you're here, though, click on the download link right here under it, and the download will begin in the bottom left. After that, let's get Sfax PBD Craft. Same thing on our website. Scroll down and click on the yellow download button and then go ahead and scroll down on Sfax and select the version you want. Now as I said, this isn't updated. Right? This isn't updated. It's 1.18 still, but that's okay. We're going to show you what happens. So just go ahead and click download like you normally would. You need to download this with an ad, so it's going to take you here, accept the terms of use, and then wait 15 seconds for this ad to play and your download to begin. Once the download is ready, click download and Sfax will download. Last but not least, Epic Adventures. Scroll down, click the yellow download button, but this is important. A lot of resource packs are actually hosted here on CurseForge. And how do you download these? What's well, super easy? Come over here on CurseForge, the right-hand side, and scroll down to the Recent File section where you'll find the Minecraft 1.19 section. Might be 1.18 depending, but you want to find the 1.19 section and click on the Download button. After that, the download will begin. After a few seconds, you know the drill. Now, with all of these downloaded, I recommend moving them to your desktop because that's the easiest place to kind of manage all these files. To do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, unless you're on Windows 11, it's in the bottom center. Click on that little Windows icon, type in Downloads, you have this Downloads file folder here, and open that up to find all of your resource packs here. Drag and drop these to the desktop, right like so, and we can get them installed. To do this, you want to open up Minecraft. So boom, Minecraft's open just like that, and we are in Minecraft 1.19, as you can see. Then go into Options, and then Resource Packs, and then Open Pack Folder. Those little fast, so from the main menu again, Options, Resource Packs, Open Pack Folder. Then once you're in the Resource Packs section here, just drag and drop the resource packs that you want to install into this Resource Packs folder. Boom, there we go go they are now installed watch this close out of resource packs and they're in game right like so now john smith legacy and epic adventures they don't have this big red box but purity craft does that's because that one is an incompatible pack it's for 1.18 an older version i'm going to show you what could happen when you have that installed but first, how do you install a pack that is for 1.19? Well, simply hover over it, like John Smith Legacy here, click on the arrow, and move it to the selected section, and click Done. Now, once you click Done here, it's going to reload Minecraft, and here we are in game with John Smith Legacy. We can jump into a 1.19 single-player world. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. And in the world, we can see frogs here. Now, the frog's texture has not changed too much with John Smith Legacy, but let's go ahead and uh, switch over to Epic Adventures, where it is changed a bit more. So go ahead and hit Escape. Click on Options, Resource Packs, and whoa, you can do this live in-game. So we can go ahead and move John Smith Legacy by clicking this arrow back over to Available, and then hover over it and click on the arrow on Epic Adventures to move that back over into selected click done and now in game our resource pack is changing and boom we just changed our 1.19 resource pack in game and these frogs are a lot more well texture fine if you will than they were with john smith but what about spacks what about 
this other resource pack. What if a resource pack has a red box around it? So this is incompatible. What do you do? Well, in that case, what we want to do, we just uninstall real quick, move over to available Epic Adventures, hover over Pure Craft, click on this arrow, and it's going to give you this warning. Are you sure you want to load this pack? It could have issues because it's from an older version of Minecraft. Go ahead and click yes, right? It's going to load it over here into selected. And then when you click done, it's going to activate that pack. In this case, it's Fax Purity Craft. Now, it works in game, right? It works. Except the uh, 1.18 textures, like the uh, frogs here, don't have textures. What if we want these to have textures, but we want everything else to have a Sfax look? Well, to do that, let's go ahead and hit Escape again. Go into Options, and you can stack resource packs. So if we go into Resource Packs, and we add Epic Adventures under Pure BD Craft, right? So it's, it's kind of like a hierarchy here. Pure BD Craft textures will show first, and then if Pure BD Craft doesn't have a texture, like on the frog, for example, it'll pick that from Epic Adventures. And then if Epic Adventures doesn't have a texture, it'll go to default Minecraft. So nonetheless, let's go ahead. Epic Adventures, there we go, is now under Pure BD Craft. We click Done. It's going to load both of those together, and look at what happens. The frogs have the Epic Adventures texture, whereas everything else is Fax Pure BD Craft. Pretty awesome stuff, right? Absolutely incredible. One of the coolest things about resource packs, in my opinion, is being able to stack them. So if you have a thing like a tools pack, right, which is a resource pack that just includes custom tools for Minecraft, you can add that over a top of an existing resource pack, and all of those other resources will come through except the tools, and those will show like the tool pack. So awesome stuff there. That's how you can download and install texture packs in Minecraft 1.19. If you have any questions, let us know. Look how cool these frogs are. Look at that. It's such a cool addition. But uh, yeah, see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.